Hey guys, it's me, Sherry, and it's Friday. Yay! <laughs> I'm so glad Friday's here. It's been a long week, and um, I'm so excited to get my video out. I've missed last week. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I was in Las Vegas with my hubby for a couple of days, and it was a great time. That's when I believe... Um, the all of the states it seemed like was hitting getting hit with a cold front and luckily Las Vegas didn't get that so we picked a good time to go away so happy about that but then needless to say return to Utah and it is freezing but um anyway that's what happens in the fall <laughs> So um, I will get started. So I did a little bit of shopping and um, I went to Ann Taylor and I have been falling in love with Ann Taylor lately um, and I needed to share this with you for all you girls who um, I hate their legs, either have age spots, veins, you know, at our age, we get age spots, veins, um, saggy knees. That's what I've got. I, I think everyone said like, not everyone, but a lot of people say when you hit 50, um, usually the legs are the last thing to go. Well, with me, it was like the first thing to go. So I that's why I love pants, um, jeans, anything that covers up the legs, maxi skirts, maxi dresses. I wear those all the time in the summer because I hate my legs. Not even uh, faux tanning will um, fix the mess of my legs because I have veins for days. I have age spots. Um, saggy skin, needless to say, cellulite my whole life. So, um, hate of my legs, and um, I and no matter what kind of workouts I do or whatever, it doesn't make them any better. But what I get excited about in the fall and winter is that I can finally wear short skirts or above the knee skirts and not feel so self-conscious because I always can put tights with them and I look forward to this time of year that I can do that. And so that's why I'm so excited to tell you about Ann Taylor and their cute little skirts and I will get started. Um, I bought three of these and I'm wearing one right now so I'll show you that in my outfit of the day. The first skirt I bought and they're all the same kind of skirt. And I absolutely love these skirts paired with heels, paired with ankle boots, or paired with over the knee boots, or any kind of boot. I swear this skirt is so that versatile. And this is the first one, and it's just like a little, I don't know what they call these, like a circle skirt, flared skirt, not sure. Um, and this is just a faux leather one, and this was on sale, I believe it was like 60% off, so it was a really good deal. And it honestly, it's faux leather, but it feels and looks like real leather. It's fully lined, and I just love this. Um, with a chunky sweater, a blouse, a t-shirt, um, you could just go anywhere and wear anything with this, up or down. That's what you can do with leather, I think, anyway. And then the next one I got is in a gorgeous... Um, I don't know what you would call this, almost a, um, like a tweed. Well, it's not really, it's pretty thick. It's a very wintry fabric, and I just love this gray. I've been in love with gray this fall, and um, I'm really loving this color gray, like a light medium gray, I guess you call it. Looks great with all the berry colors that are out right now. And again, I would pair this with over the knee boots, ankle boots, and just like tights, either nylons or tights. Like I just think these look fabulous and they're very flattering I think on every body type because if you if you're you have hips like me it kind of hides them because the skirt is flared so that's good and I feel like if you have a tummy you can actually wear a nice chunky sweater over on top of it and and do something very flowy on the top and it looks good too so um, love this and then the next skirt I'm wearing and it's like a winter white color and I will stand up and show you that in a minute um, but first, I also want to show you, this is my first cashmere sweater I ever bought, and I got this at Ann Taylor, and I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous, and again, it's gray, and it's a turtleneck, and it's it's very, um, it's a nice lightweight sweater. It's um, great for when you turn 50, and you know what I mean by hot flashes and night sweats, oh my god. Last thing you want to do is put on a chunky knit. Um, so that's why I haven't worn this yet, but I know it's going to be fabulous because it's very lightweight and very flowy. So um, anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. And this was 40% off and you know how expensive cashmere can be. So I just had to share that with you. And then if you've noticed on my nails or I have fake nails and um, usually around this time of year, the holidays, I always want to get fake nails, but I hate what they do to your real nail because I don't want to wear them. I don't want to commit to them all year round, so 
I, I went to Sally's and just bought their fake nails and tried them and I applied these on Wednesday and they're still on and um, I just bought like the rounded tip and then I just filed them into the um, stiletto I guess you could say I've never done this before so you can probably tell I've never done this before and then I just painted them um, let's see this color it's an latex it's actually a matte um, by nails ink and um, it's this nice light gray. Like I said, I'm into grays. And then I just put on my index finger this little sparkle. Um, this is very old. It's kind of, it was really getting sticky when I was applying it to my index finger, just the tip of it. Um, but anyway, I felt like this might solve my craving for fingernails and hopefully it won't damage it too much or too bad. And um, I asked the lady at Sally's like, how long does the glue usually last? And she said about a week. So we'll see. And so far, no problems and I've been pretty hard on them so and they're still attached so we'll see and I know I didn't do a, the greatest filing job but um, what are you gonna do and then on my lips to get today is another great berry color and it's by the matte um, I don't know if this is um, I think it's the Maybelline matte collection and it's in number six um, let me look at my mirror 680 and uh, mesmerizing magenta that's what it's called and that's what I have on my lips today. And I just kind of dabbed it on. I didn't like really make it a strong um, lip. I just kind of wanted it stained a little berry color. And then on my eyes today, I just used the Glitter and Ice by MAC. This is a couple years old because um, I love every color in this palette. And the only color actually I didn't use was this color. And then up here, I just used the MAC Brulee, I believe it's called. So, and um let me see what else can I tell you oh and I got my hair done today so I'm not really feeling it it's just not how I normally would style it but um, it's just a little flat on top and I actually went darker um, at my root and she didn't highlight or anything she just did the all over root color and I told her I wanted to go darker because I like going darker um, for winter I don't know why but I just do and um, let's see oh and my foundation, um, my skin just wasn't getting any lighter and I just felt like the YSL wasn't really matching the color of my skin. So I kind of did 50% of that and then mixed it with this Fit um, foundation. And I don't know what number this is, but, uh, and I actually like the color. It looks pretty good, so. And I think that is it. So um, I hope you, oh, and I'll stand up and show you my, outfit. Um, this turtleneck is really old. I believe I got it at the Gap years ago. And then my skirt, like I, I'll show you, um, it's from Ann Taylor. And then my boots are Nine West. They're old too. And um, I highly recommend you women of our age, go out and get a pair of over the knee boots. They are just so much fun. i am actually got a gray pair that, um, well, my hubby's going to give me them for Christmas, but um, I have them now. <laughs> Um, I might wear them, I don't know, um, before Christmas. I can't wait because I love them that much. But I highly recommend over the knee boots. They're just so chic. And um, again, they cover up your knees, which I don't have the greatest knees. And they just look great. With They just look so, they amp up your outfit. And if you notice, I'm not putting any jewelry on or anything, just my watch and my rings. Because with this outfit, you don't really need a lot. Anyway, I will stand up and show you the whole thing. You probably won't get my face in this, but... What are you gonna do? Okay, so this is it. And I just love this whole, whoops. <laughs> I didn't know Chanel was in here. I love this whole look. How cute is this skirt? I love it, love it. And then I'm just gonna pair it with my um, Rachel Zoe black faux fur vest. That, and my Chanel bag. And I just think this looks like a fabulous outfit. I love it. And I love winter white too. So anyway, I hope you guys all have a fabulous weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.